You know, I do really like Otto. I think Gav steals it really early on as being very likable. But they've done a lot with Otto in this kind of second half, too. I was wondering when you turn up. Hello, from all our friends thanking you for your timely intervention. How is it you always manage to arrive at just the right moment? Like I'm just that good. Any word on the rest of the realm? Hmm, let's see. Storm's still crying out for Mother Crystals. The nations are still in chaos. And the skies are still the color of a kick in the kidneys two days on. So... Huh. Right. Clive, we knew this was gonna happen. Well, not the bleeding skies part, but you take my point. Now's not the time to second guess yourself. Now's the time to visit the infirmary. Taya says your brother. Oh! Thank you, Otto. Okay, he is just here, resting and getting better. Right, right, right. I had forgotten that. Thank goodness. Let's talk to Joshua finally. I'm paused. Let's check out Joshi. Dominant of the Phoenix and former heir to the Ducal throne. Though he and Clive trod their separate paths for many years, the brothers were finally reunited. Oh, it was so good. Okay, that it was so good. I love them being reunited. That was one of my favorite parts. So far, that actually, that probably is my favorite part. Ugh. Okay, I know what the hideaway is. <laughs> I won't stall anymore. So it was not Sylvester, but Olivier who served as Ultima's puppet. And when Dion learned of this, he sought to slay the fiend. Oh, Dion. Amazing. Only for his father to take the spear that would have freed him. Enough to drive a man to madness. Small wonder he hasn't stirred. I would be afraid to wake. Had I but reached out to him sooner, warned him of the threat Ultima posed. But now, both an empire and her prince lie broken. Joshua. What do you know of Ultima? Yes, that is the correct question to ask right now. Very little, I'm afraid. Despite my best efforts. Really? 18 years ago, as I lay buried beneath the rubble of Phoenix Gate, it was not death who came for me, but another. And it was while in my rescuer's care, I first heard of Ultima. Who is your rescuer? His shadow ever since. Ultima is driven by some deep, dark purpose, and for whatever reason, it would seem you are crucial to his designs. He will stop at nothing to have you, even if that means toppling an empire. But why me? What possible use could I be to such a creature? That is one of many answers that have... It has to be that he can absorb all of the Yet, icons. I am certain of this. It is not mere chance. You were chosen for a reason. Yes, of course. All dominants carry within them the might of an icon. Nigh limitless power that is at once acutely limited. I wield fire and only fire. And I only ice. Eight wardens for eight elements. Yes, and you, Clive. Clive. You are different. You're special. Your abilities begin with the flames of Ifrit, but they do not end there. The fact Ifrit can even exist goes against everything we thought we knew of dominance. Perhaps Ultima has been waiting for one such as you, whose potential is truly limitless. They're figuring this out, that's great. I've encountered that thing several times now. If it or he, as you say, needs me, why hasn't he claimed me as he did the boy? Were I to hazard a guess, 
I'd say the two of you are somehow incompatible. His mind not properly attuned to your body. I'm confused, though. Didn't Joshua also absorb Ultima back when Sid died? Or did I misinterpret what had happened there? This is why I'm confused. I wasn't expect... I, I mean, maybe Ultima just left... <laughs> left Joshua after that and went to Olivier or something like that. I don't know. Maybe... Maybe it'll be explained. His mind. Mind, awareness, spirit, call it what you wish. But I believe Ultima to be an embodiment of the concept. This is why I struggle and fail to contain him here inside me. I'm sorry. Inside you. Oh. With every setting sun, I feel my strength wane. And though the Phoenix's flames mend the prison I have made for Ultima, they do so at a cost. We must find a means to bring an end to him before huh. I meet my own. I'm not sure what it means what then. What are you thinking? It was that or let him take Clive. And I've always had a soft spot for <laughs> that. Doesn't I mean hope so. You should sacrifice yourself to save me. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I knew it. Joshua. Oh, Clive. gosh. It's Gav. What's Gav? There's an army of Akashic at the gates of Canver. <laughs> but Joshua's coughing up blood. I knew that was going to come back. Well, what's the short of it? Myrtle, Tyre told you. The capital of the free cities is under siege by an army of monstrosities. The city guard are doing their best to stem the tide, but numbers ain't on their side. What of Lord Byron and Mid? Were they able to escape? No. Well, they're all right for now. They're hiding with Gav at midship. We have to get them out of there. <gasps> midship! Otto, prepare a stolas. Tell Gav to stay exactly where he is. Understood. Gav. Uh... Vivian, what's the swiftest route to the free cities? <laughs> that sounds like a question for the map. <laughs> Look here. This road, through Tabor, should provide the least trouble. Good. What a coincidence. Tabor is exactly where I'm bound. Joshua, bed is where you should be bound. That is exactly what I was thinking. But if he's up anyway, let's go. I let's go. I told him the exact same thing. Oh. Were Taya not such a talented healer, I would surely have been inclined to agree. I'm so worried about but Joshua now. To administrations, I feel I may safely rejoin my attendant, who was to wait for me in Tabor if we became separate. <gasps> Music. All right, we travel together. Clive. Ah! If he stays close to me, he'll be fine. Thank you, brother. Oh. After him. I love this. Yeah, the back together with the theme. Oh, it's too much. <laughs> Torgal's happy. Oh, I do see side quests. Of course, they're like urgent effort needed, but first, some side quests. <laughs> oh, it's so tempting. I want to do the stuff with Joshua. Is Joshua going to come with me on the side quests? <laughs> they do this on purpose. They try to put the side quests like. They couldn't have possibly put these in like two quests ago. Now I just want to see what happens next in the story. And they know this. They know what they're doing. <gasps> oh, but I love Goots. What am I going to do? Oh, no. <laughs> I love you. Is everything all right, Goots? You seem more discomposed than usual. I don't know what that means, but, but I'm in a bit of a muddle. Oh, I think Nan might be in trouble, and she's... It's all right. You can tell me. 
<laughs> I was worried this game wouldn't have humor, but Goose is so good. There was a trader came by here, yeah. One of our usuals, like, said he'd heard some rotten rumors about her down Dallymill Way. Folk are saying she's been selling to bandits and cutthroats and that. I mean, she's fond of a chance to make a coin or two, aye, but, but she'd never do business with baddies. Especially not the kind who go hurting people who haven't done out. I wanted to ask her about it myself, but well, I'm scared she'll give us a tongue lashing. She this voice actor, I'm obsessed with their performance. Lashing, though, would she? Don't worry. I'll speak to her. Oh, thanks, Clive. You'll let me know what she says, won't you? Of course. I'm sure it's all just a misunderstanding. Ugh, I, uh, I am tempted to do the story instead. It seems the oh, But I know what will happen if I do. Can you blame them? They'll lock me out of yeah. the side quest. You put me in this situation, Clive. You can bloody well get me out of it. I need a hand with a recipe. Are you sure it's me okay. you're looking for? I'm not much of a cook. I'm all the cook will be needing. Thank you very much. What I want from you is a little of your time, right? Oh, and uh, perhaps your sword. You remember no problem. stew, right? Well, despite the look of the thing and that awful stench, people wolf. I also out. have this tendency so to want to, to unlock each quest myself. rather than unlock one, and complete it, and it unlock go, the next, but, complete well, it. it wasn't For some reason, I like heard. to go to. I like to open each Everyone one. Had the same problem. And then decide yeah, what to do. This is my blooming kitchen. And I will not be outdone. So if you don't want to be seen as playing favorites, I suggest you lend me a hand. Yes. I've never been one to play favorites, Molly. And I would be only too happy to lend you a hand. Recipe seemed easy enough to an old hand like myself. Thought I'd followed it to a tea. Only, turns out Skyworm livers and Drake's mint are not what I thought they were. At least I hope they're not, given the rancid mess they made. Ivan said the recipes in the Yeah, Mortress is not a word I know. Who's to say the ingredients even exist anymore? Well, that's a question for a scholar, wouldn't you say? Perhaps you know of one? You do that. Lest we forget, you've got a reputation to uphold. <laughs> okay. So far, I am inclined to do Goots's quest first. But, I mean, that's no surprise. It's Goots. I love Goots. What is this candle doing? Sid, what? Perhaps you can what a way to spell Shirley. I don't think I've ever seen I that. Can certainly try. Who's gone missing this time? It's not who, but what. The mid scales, the ones she made for her workshop. I borrowed them to teach the little ones about weight, and shortly after the lesson, well, they vanished. My first thought was that they'd taken them off somewhere to play, but when I asked, they swore they had nothing to do with their having disappeared. Which almost certainly means they had everything to do with it. <laughs> okay, good to this. From Sid will jog their memories. <laughs> These other two seem like, like they're going to be quick, you. but I don't knows? like to imagine that my pupils would lie to me. But if they have, I'll have no choice but to discipline them accordingly. They Wait, Mortress is from Pokemon? That's really funny. <laughs> I need to play a Pokemon game. I mean, it can't... It's not gonna uh, be prioritized over the huge list of games that I currently have that I've been dying to play for a very long time. Uh, but... You're right here. I might as well talk to you. But I do I do want to play one. Norseman Harpocrates. I've come to pick your brain if you don't mind. It's about the book you lent Ivan. Ah. <sighs> Valisthea, a culinary pilgrimage, a classic. One of my favorites, in fact. The young man did a wonderful job with the Chancellor's stew. I do hope we shall be able to sample more such marvels in due course. Now, <laughs> Skyworm is a somewhat antiquated name for the Wyvern, their ground livers being the paste from which the Mortress is made. Dragon livers. <sighs> How very Sambraquois. One would have thought the disciples of Bahamut I like touch more reverence how real the world feels in this. I believe the specific dragon the recipe demands Like to make joke, jokes about different places like that. The sea beside which it resides. 
So we know where to look for our liver. But what about the Drake's Mint? Saint's Bonnet, in contemporary parlance. A herb which grows along the North Reach coast. I gather that one can locate the cheerful yellow flowers by their heady scent alone. So I'm sure you'll have no trouble finding them. I may add that people once believed game was best served with the flora that sustained it in life. In which regard, fried mortress of Skyworm is undoubtedly a typical dish of the time. Meaning that if I find one, I find the other. Oh, to Northreach. Okay. To Northreach, then. Best I luck, plan... Guy. Here's my real plan. <laughs> do save me a I'm going to do everything I can in the hideaway while I'm here, and then I will go do uh, Goots' quest first. There's a storm coming, Sid. Aww. It seems the hideaway is lost. Okay, well, here's Goots' quest anyway. How's business? Not nearly as foul as the weather. Your storm's coming. Doing good trade then, both in and out of the hideaway. Hmm. Can't complain. She oh. is always smoking. Exactly every time we see are you her. Getting at? Not once in five long years do you pay my affairs half a care. But here you are today, raking me over the coals like a bloody popotto. Just asking. <laughs> Out of interest. She is great, though. <sighs> All right. <sighs> I'm here because I was told that certain rumors have been circulating about you selling weapons to brigands. Oh, are you? And who was it who knows me so well as to tell tales of my evil exploits? Oh, your <sighs> evil exploits. I, hmm? I didn't exactly hear firsthand. All I know is that someone in Dalamil has been spreading word to that effect. And what? You believe it? You think I'm profiting off the blood of innocence, do you? Look. No. I've done things I'm not proud of. Yeah, I Might think Karen's be a the good person. Time when I turned a blind eye to the wretchedness of the world so I could line my pocket. I, like, fully but trust that anybody that Sid ever no trusted. More. And you'd know that if you'd ever paid the slightest bit of notice. A shame. Lady Karen. I apologize. It was wrong of me to doubt you. No, it was. No. Aww. I reckon you've got better things to do than pointing your do-gooding finger at a poor old woman. Of course. Oh. Good day. Oh boy. Uh, return to... Oh. Already returning to Goots. I spoke with Lady Karen. What did she say? That the rumors were unfounded. And that I was a fool for thinking they might hold any truth. She hates me now. some other things that made her feelings clear. <laughs> and while it sounds like she may have done things she regretted in her past... She says those days are behind her. Oh, well, that's good. I knew Nan wasn't caught up in out bad. But why would people say she was? What did she ever do to them? It's not right. No, it's not. But people do things for all sorts of reasons. Perhaps we'll never know. Well, I'm going to find out. That trader. He said they were all talking about her in Dalimil. So that's where I'm going. I'll find someone oh, who'll tell me. Oh, well, we have see. a little goods quest. Are you sure that's wise? Whoever's spreading these rumors means Karen ill. Oh, right. But that's why you'll be coming with me, isn't it, Clive? <sighs> I suppose it is. Aww. Tempting. Did you see um, <gasps> oh, I just saw something I had not noticed before. I have more than these three side quests to do. Don't we? Oh, wait, I thought somebody else was in here. Oh, 
It's just the uh, writing table side quests, or reading table rather. Well, let's see what the damage is gonna be. Oh, it's only one, it's a humble request. I do have other new notes though. Master Clive, I apologize for this sudden and untoward gesture. Circumstances have forced me to seek immediate aid. There is none other to whom I may turn. Your most esteemed Lord Uncle has presented me with a task most vexing. I fear I am wholly unable to perform his vaulted ex to his vaulted expectations, namely due to a marked la lack of martial aptitude on my part. To wit, I am but manservant, not mercenary. While I maintain the fitness ample to attend the, to the needs of a manor, the attending of, a band of bandits in back alleys, I am sorely ill-equipped. If it please you, my lord, prithee come and see me at Martha's rest. Oh, I do... Yes, I do like to go back to Martha's rest. Wasn't that the name of my uncle's manservant? Why would he be at Martha's rest? Oh, smooth like butter. And we're confused why he's at Martha's rest. Does that mean your uncle is also at Martha's rest? Oh, I should, I should check that. Oh, Sid's Goblet's here! I was wondering. Okay, very cool. That is something I want to check. Definitely before I beat the game. Check all of the memories. I wonder if completing the memories is a trophy. Okay, so that's the children in the atrium. And that's the last thing to do before I leave. So might as well do that while I'm here. Aww, cute kids. Sid! Out of you your studies, it? I see. And what is that? It's not a set of scales, is it? No. Of course it isn't. Well, not anymore, it's not. <laughs> oh. And just how long hasn't it been one? We're sorry. But we didn't break them. We just dis dismembered them. Just like <sighs> Miss Mididol showed us. Miss Mididol? And why would she have you dismembering her creations? Yeah. Because that's the only way to become a ninja near. Miss ninja near. The best way I see how something worked is to take it apart and put it back together again. Oh, did she well, just pretend to do the accent done. too? Carry on. Uh. <laughs> About that. The taking apart was easy enough, but it's the putting back we can't work out. Speak for yourself. <laughs> everything goes at the bottom. That's the point. That's why she then, told you to take it apart. Then. Um, oh, I wonder if I'm going to have to do a puzzle here. You need to take responsibility for your actions. So let's have a look at these parts with fresh eyes, shall we? Okay. But I really, I should make them do it. All right, you know what? I'm gonna just go ahead and do this. I'm curious to see what this will be. All right. Everything here was once part of Miss Mididol's scales. Is it gonna make me have to fit Every them together? Every piece has its own role to play, and each is just as important as the others. If even one of them is missing, the scales won't work. So let's think about what those roles might be. You already know one of the pieces. The Wait. Body. Its role is to support everything else. Clive, what are the others? <laughs> why is he a good teacher? How does he have the skill? Um, I missed what he said. I assume I can this inspect each arm. part, though. Why do you suppose that is? It doesn't look much like an arm. You're right. It looks more like a wing. <gasps> like a chocobo wing. Oh, uh... you've ridden a chocobo before, haven't you, Sid? I Can have. you teach me to ride one one day? I'll think about it. Now, what do arms do? I really- this oh, is things. adorable. So wait, maybe this arm holds things too? Good thinking. You're on the right track. You're doing great. <laughs> I'm so proud of these kids. These round parts are called the pans. You all know what a pan is, don't you? Yeah, and Clive is I doing do. a great job them getting the them to come up with right the answer. Is. But these aren't for frying bangers, you idiot. 
They're for weighing stuff. But what if I wanted to weigh Goots? I don't think he'd fit on that little thing. <laughs> Probably not. So funny. What are the chains for? Holding the pans up? Well spotted. Which means something must hold the chains up in turn. Uh huh. This tiny piece is what's called a cogwheel or gear. Have you ever seen one before? I have. Miss Mididol's dungeon is full of them. Most are on the floor. She puts them in all her inventions. They spin round and round and round and round and. That's right. They're very useful when you want to make things move. Do you remember if there was anything on the scales that moved? I remember the arm moved when I tried weighing an apple. And then somebody <laughs> ate it. <laughs> Not my fault. You shouldn't have tried weighing it before lunch. We know what part's supposed to move and how it's supposed to move. So, let's put the pieces together first, see what doesn't move, and then stick the cogwheel to that. Good job, Not a bad kids. idea. You see? It's not so difficult. So, this is very sweet. Now that we've taken stock of the parts and learned what they do, what do you think? I think we've got it. Then here's what we'll do you tell me what goes where, and I'll put the scales together. Excellent. Well, obviously, you need to start with the body. All the other pieces fit onto it, don't they? And the arms go on the body, just like real arms. Or oh, wings, if you're a chocobo. Aww. The arms hold the pans by the chains. Very good. Good Let's job, kids. And he didn't tell them uh, the answer. All finished. That was cute. Yes, we did it. Good job. Wow. With Sid's help. <laughs> who cares? Well, I just put the pieces you together. It. it was you three engineers who showed me how. Engineers. That's right. We're Miss Mididol's hairs. Her hairs? Yeah, hairs for the future. She's showing us her secrets now, so we can help out the hideaway when we're older. What do you think, Sid? Are we almost ready? Hairs. With a little more help from Miss Mididol and Miss Shirley. I'd say it won't be long at all. <laughs> you hear that? Adorable. It won't be long. Until then, though, do try to be honest with Miss Shirley. Good job, good good job throwing that in there, Clive. Hey, look, we never used the cogwheel. You don't think Sid forgot about it, do you? Uh oh. Amazing. That's amazing. Such a good teacher forgets. I was so impressed with him. Okay, so I do want to... Yeah, we'll finish the quest here. Oh, dang it. I should have gone the other way. I need to get back here. That's fine. It, it all connects. Finish the quest. Read the other notes. I do love the that we can get letters. That was a very sweet quest, though. I liked that a lot. Especially since, yeah, he was impressing me with his skills of, like, talking to kids and getting them to figure things out on their own. And then he gets it wrong. Okay, and then just back up and read the letters. Okay, I can manage that, I think. There's a storm coming, Sid. Will there be... Well, did you solve the mystery? It was as you thought. The children had the scales, or the parts of them at least. They dismantled them to see how they worked. Oh, no, Mid will have my head. No. Thankfully she won't. This might even have been her idea. Although I was the one who ended up teaching the lesson. I'm so sorry, Sid. I know how busy you are. I shall see that the children are properly punished. <laughs> Please, there's no need. 
It seems to have taken it is the funny under her wing. with how urgent things are. She's even and then, like, they heirs. actually reference that She'd during the following her footsteps and her father's. I see. Ah, Sid, do you know why Mid has been spending so much time at the hideaway of late? She told me it was because her studies had been interrupted by events in Canva. Is that not true? No, it isn't. The university offered her a commission. In exchange for full tuition, room, and board, they asked her to oversee the design of several new war engines. To anyone else, it would be an opportunity. But oh. to Mid, who lost both her parents to war, it was a bitter pill. One she was none too keen to swallow. Oh. But that should come as no surprise. She's only ever cared about bringing people hope. The very last thing war can be said to do. Which explains her heirs. She's working to give them a better life. And so should I. What's the odd engineering lesson? Ah, uh, you've given them far more than that. And I'm sure they're very grateful. Love Mid. Also, she's such a, a Sid's daughter. She is. Very sweet. Okay, before I forget... Reading the notes. Oh, okay. The guard and league have put aside their differences. Oh, wait, do I read this after completing down the rabbit hole? Is that what that means? It must. Um, for the time being, allowing us all allowing us all leave to sip our snake spit in relative leisure. For that, I would hazard, we have your better half to thank. They're even calling her my better half. She put on quite a performance. As for yours, well, from one aspiring thespian to another, might I suggest working on your delivery and your projection? Down the rabbit hole wasn't a side quest. Was that a main quest? And those stiff limbs of yours and your countenance and, well, everything else. We wouldn't want to do the, to do the name Underhill a disservice now, would we? Yeah, it was a main quest. It was like the one of the three main quests kind of underneath like the parent quest. Why we fight. Clive, you have the town's thanks for helping rid us, rid us of the thralls. But we are neither of us so naive to think we have seen the end of their like. Good Felipe has taken to seeing that we are prepared should the ghouls come once again calling. But I oft worry the rank of captain has begun to weigh heavily upon his shoulders. Just as I imagine the same might be said of you and your burdens. But remember, should the weight ever become too much, you needn't stand alone. Our hearts and arms remain ever open, as do the veil's doors. On one from Wade. <sighs> you have an uncanny talent of showing up where you're most needed. My lord, without your steel, I fear the rest would be in the hands of the Akashic, and as and us but more of their nameless numbers. However, with the horde now both thinned and fractured, we guardians can focus our efforts on putting down the smaller packs without the worry of being overwhelmed, while Martha's blood axes can return to defending the Tor. As for young Oscar, you will forgive my sudden request for taking him under your wing. He is a good man, attentive, polite, hardworking. So as you can see, he already has learned everything he can from me. He would do well to continue squ his squiring under a more worthy shield, and the realm has none more worthy than you. Oh, wait. I love the word squire. Nope, that, that. Meant to click it. <gasps> Martha. The shortest note. The guardians are getting along with the axes fine enough, working to shore up the rest walls when not clearing out what few threats remain down in the reeds. Though, chances are we'd still be neck deep in Akashic, in Akashic had you not given the, that horde your firm but gentle nudge. I know you've a realm to save and all, but if you're ever in need of a quick reviver, come see us and we'll t tap you a cask. Aww, great. Okay, perfect. So that's everything I can do here. My preference. Oh! <gasps> huh? What? What? <laughs> I wasn't expecting.
doing this? <laughs> I was gearing up to go do side quests. Gabe's like, remember when we told you this was urgent? Let us give you all these side quests that you can't do. It let me uh, begin them. That is funny. Trouble with your gear, or the same for you, dear. Okay. Yeah, what do I have equipped currently? I want this. Should last you a good while. I I like it. Um, that we have a diamond sword. Okay, yeah, we're good. Fine. Wait, okay, I do have to travel, though. Let's go, I guess. Huh, we're here with Joshua, I'm pretty sure. This is what I've been wanting all along. Oh, well, so far it's just the two of us. Aww. My girlfriend, my brother, my dog. What else do you need? What else do you need? <laughs> Cloak and dagger! It's like a dream, the four of us out walking like we used to. Enjoying this, are you? Gav and the others could be in danger as we speak. Oh, Clive, right. you were just doing side I'm quests. <laughs> Take Yote it easy. Is a fine scout. If Candle was attacked, she will already have begun gathering information. Tabor isn't far. We should pick up the pace. Oh, we're not going fast enough for you, Jill? So wait. Can I... Oh, there's a side quest here as well? And here? Wait. That is my side quest. Let's go there. <laughs> oh. The bandits may be known, but look what they've left us. This should be the one. It shouldn't be too it should be to goose, right? Goods. Yeah. The gentlemen of the town guard are a strap of fun. Uh, I... no. Fuck! The finest <gasps> cells I know something more. What's it worth to you? Hey, Clive, listen! I found someone who says he's heard the rumors about Nan. Have you? But go on. Tell him what you told me. All right. It's like I said, a wizened old crone by the name of Karen's been selling steel to whoever will pay her price, be they knight or knave. Is somebody impersonating Karen? Says the more swords and spears she puts in people's hands, the more war they'll wage. And the more war being waged, the more call for swords and spears. And who will they all turn to to keep them in steel? Why, the good reaper herself. <laughs> And you've seen this Reaper at work. Aye, it just so happens I have. Reaper? You'll find her right here, plying her trade most days. Here in Delamil. Ooh, are we gonna spy? Where exactly? She has a stall here in the market, but if you're not the patient type, you can probably find her at her storehouse on the edge of town. But it'd be a bolder man than me that braved that particular nest of vipers. Feeling bold, traveler? I hope so, for your sake. Now, yeah, I wonder all, if it'll let me fast I travel back. Be. Sorry to have kept you. If I'm uh, kind of stuck here until I move the, the story forward. You don't think Nan's the Reaper, do you? Not unless she's discovered the secret of how to be in two places at once. Yeah, we've yeah. got a second person. What do you mean? Lady is Karen so distraught. Hasn't left the hideaway in weeks. So who has been running this store he spoke of? Exactly. Good question. I'll go and have a look. And I'll visit this storehouse on the edge of town. All right, but 
Be careful, Clive. Oh, Goots. Jeez. You too, I really Goots. do care so much for these characters. Oh. Oh, it tricked me. I was like, ooh, it's close. It's not actually that close. Just you, is it? <sighs> Thought I might have laid it on a bit thick. You sound familiar. It was a fairly unconvincing tale. So, what now? That's up to you. Die a slow death, or a quick Really? Life. You think Boys, you can beat me? He's all yours, but that sword is mine. Yeah, right. You seen my tornado? Let's go. Hey, now, oh. this didn't happen. Did I level up? Why am I at full health? I must have. So amusing. Actually, they're very unlikely to hit me while they're in the tornado, so let's go. enemies. There we go. That'll take care of new enemies. Get them before they, they uh, start attacking. Ooh, we've got somebody here. Well, it's most likely not the hired muscle. It's you! I saw you. There you are. Wait, you are the hired muscle. They're not named for their roles, I suppose. Alright, beat him up. Tornado does go for her. Tornado makes me so happy. Like, it definitely has its drawbacks, but I don't even care. It's so fun to use. Bye! Oh, we are- oh, we're close to leveling up. We must not have, then. Oh, you've done it now. Oh, you're gonna Owen, fight me? Tell me what I've done. When the Borgwin finds out you've killed his men, he'll have your head. Uh -huh. He only wanted that bull of a manservant, the dim one always clinging to Karen's skirts. You weren't even How dare to be you? Who the hell are you anyway? What were you going to do to him? The Borgwin wanted him to get to Karen. <gasps> I was only supposed to point the lump in the right direction once he arrived in Dalamil. But then you turned up. Well. Now you have to then, die. If you're going to end me, end me. I will. You don't you're go after the Goose. Effort. Now be gone. Or Karen. Before I change my mind. <laughs> Fucking coward. I need to find Goose. Right now. He says as he runs away. Who's the coward? Oh, the water. Get your filthy paws off me, you naughty painted lout! Stop calling me names! And stop spreading them horrible lies about Nan! Goots, you pure, oh, pure soul! Ugh. For they are not lies. Every last word is true. And she must pay for her crimes in blood. Blood! Goose, are you all right? He, he, he's gonna kill Nan! No, he, he won't. He said she had to pay in blood. After what she did, it is only right. She ruined my life 
and the lives of countless others. That loathsome harpy's very existence is a crime, and I will not allow it to continue. Goots, was it? I have no quarrel with you. <sighs> Only with your employer. Well, run along now. You need this is fiercely loyal. Sins. This is not going to end well for you. No. no. I don't care what she did. I won't let you hurt Nan. Promise me you won't hurt her. Or I'll... Or I'll... Or I'll kill you myself! Goot. No. In Clive. all Shh. of you! Karen. What are you doing here? Karen. But how did you... <laughs> You're a sight less clever than you think you are, the pair of you. Did you think I wouldn't notice the two of you slinking off together? Well, the whole thing got me thinking. Aww. Who in Dalamil might bear me a grudge? And a certain snivelling shit I ran afoul of in my fairy years came <laughs> to mind. Karen, no, Though you're the best. it was just Bogan. I thought the years might have taught you some sense. But I see you're the same pants-pissing craving you've always been. What was it we called you? Wet legs. You, <laughs> you bitch! No, she's great. Everything that happened, it was all your fault. <gasps> and That's... now you'll finally pay for what you did to me. Goose, you. <gasps> if you want a piece of Nan, you'll have to go through me. Fuck. <laughs> you great galoot. Out of the way, I can handle this myself. So, wet legs. <laughs> you remember what you told me when we last met? An eye for an eye. <gasps> wise words, Sam. Wise words. No. And now, it's time to collect. Sorry oh. to keep you waiting. Oh Sweet. my gosh. Dad? No. But I reckon he wishes he was. Karen means business. It's an easy going through life, one eye shot of a pair. After all, I should know. You don't mean it. Oh, don't tell me you didn't notice. Of course, but I didn't it realize it was a glass eye, we actually. In the same route. Said I thought you had had her all strong box. I done nothing of the sort, mind. But that didn't stop him taking his little revenge. So I took some of my own. Sorry, lost everything. His coin, his clients. Always knew he'd be back one day to claim his due. But he crossed <laughs> a line dragging poor Goots into this. He did. He did, did he? Thank oh, goodness man. Goots is okay, Still though. Got all my arms, see? Legs I'm forever too. afraid something is going to happen to Goots. What if he comes back again? Take his other eye. Does. First we take the other eye, then we work our way down. <laughs> Karen! Oh, soon enough. But something tells me the wet legs has learned it already. That is so funny. Right. Let's get you back to the hideaway. You've attracted quite enough attention already. ta -ra, Clive. That's so good. That was amazing. I do have to go back to the hideaway to complete the quest. Oh, Joshua is still with me. I wonder if that means it won't let me travel, fast travel. Wait, what will? Oh, I can just do all of this now. Okay, yeah, it was just one cut scene. I wanna finish this one. I do fear Karen. I would not want to get on Karen's bad side. Nothing like a dish of cold vengeance to foul the gut. Uh, I'm sorry, Nan. I, I didn't mean to make things worse. I just thought 
I had to protect you. Like you've protected me. It's too yeah, wholesome. Well, someone had to. Your parents certainly didn't give a whip for your well-being. Reckon the both awesome. of us would be worse off if I'm not taking you on. You've always been me right eye, Goots. And I'd have you stay that way. So don't you dare go looking for trouble again. Aww. Oh, well, I will. If you ever need help, I'll do it again and again. And you can't stop me. Why, you big lump. Fine. Play the hero if it makes you happy. Thanks, Nan. I won't let you down. I can't. It's too good. It's too sweet. There's nothing he wouldn't do for you. That's his maybe. But if he's ever to make his own way in life, he'll need to start looking out for himself as well. Till then, he'll need people to watch his back, just like you did in Dalamil. Oh. Don't think I didn't appreciate that. She does that. care. Of course. His family. Stop it. You make me one good arm, mister. <laughs> I don't go thinking that'll do you any favours. A potion today will cost you the same as it did yesterday. Okay, fine. I love that quest. I love that one. Also, this isn't, I know, okay, people are starting to tell me I'm nearing the end of the game. Is this the final batch of side quests? Probably not. There's probably still some more after this, I would guess. People just have me afraid. <laughs> Worried that I'm, I'm closing in on the end. Definitely not. Okay. Phew. So if we're doing all the side quests, we do have more, more game. My percentage of main story probably. Oh, Joshua's gonna come with me for all of them. I love that. Oh, dang it. <laughs> the brothers. Ah. I like Joshua's design a lot too, his adult design. There were ghosts at the gates not days ago. So impressed with this game. This is probably one of them. Yes. Huh. This must be our wyvern. Right. I'm the wyvern. If you do any side, too many side quests with Joshua in the party, he will perish. No. That would be cool. <laughs> I'm unleashing everything on it all at once. There we go. There's a bunch of yellow. I think that's everything Molly needs to resurrect her recipe. Okay, so return this to the hideaway. And then there's this side quest as well at Martha's Rest, and then a new one that's probably going to be like on the way of our actual main quest. I like when they do that. I like when they do a, like a quick side quest that's basically on your path. It's happened a couple times already. It seems the hideaway's lost its appetite. So, did you have that word with Tomes then? 
I did, and he was as helpful as ever. He told me exactly where to look, in fact. And what precisely will I be cooking up? Or is it better not to know? Blueback wyvern liver. And, uh, a herb known as Saint's Bonnet. Ah, wyvern livers, was it? Well, at least it weren't actual worms, I suppose. Now then, you Talk stay right again if you get the chance. More lore. Okay. Some cooking to do. I'm, while I'm Let's here, these grand old I should be able to. Knew what they were on about. I assume he's here. I got to also pet Torgal. Doesn't look and bad. Here we have it. Fried Mortress of Skyworm. Ivan's offered to make sure it's fit for consumption. Well, I say offered. He as good as begged. And rightly so. Is there any higher honor than partaking in a slice of culinary history? <coughs> oh no, it's not good. So, not fit for consumption then. What? What witchery is this? The crackle <laughs> of the crust gives way to an almost violent richness. Yet, it is the piquant kiss of the saint's bonnet that tames this savage dish. It is a tour de force. So much force personality. Nature, even. Yeah, and a minor characters. I love it. And sensation. And it makes so much sense. Emerging from centuries of slumber. Like in the hideaway, they're all it. so comfortable with each other. Well, I can't quite tell with all that nonsense he's talking. But I reckon you might be right. It was decent then, I take it. Decent? It's remarkable. And I defy any man to say a word <laughs> to the contrary. Shit, might I suggest that you command a party of your finest men and women? To procure a dozen blueback wyverns forthwith. Oh, we're not done. <laughs> oh, okay, we are done. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, we have to do this 14 more times. <gasps> oh, but we leveled up. Nice. Okay, just... The one at Martha's Rest, which I intentionally saved for last. Um, but first, I don't remember where Goops hangs out. I know where Karen is. Karen is just... Wait, what direction am I facing? Karen should just be right here. Hold on, where's Karen? Oh, there, okay. Oh, Blackthorn, thank you. Okay. Let me tell you a story, Clive. Oh, you're right. All right. She's just gonna Them jump into a story. Wet legs were spreading. Might be they weren't just tales plucked out of thin air. You see, there were a time when I weren't too particular about who I sold steel to, so long as they paid me the right price. Some women lust after blood, others after flesh, but me, I were always one for gold. And to satisfy that lust, I sold to Some opposing women armies. Lost stabbed after my every blood, huh? in the back, made myself the most hated woman in the twins. But then one day, one day I met a man who made me a different kind of offer. Said he'd give me access to a realm wide community of like minded individuals in constant need of steel and sundries. On the condition I sold to him and his alone. Was that the uh... first time you met Sid? Aye. And I fell right into his damn trap. He was true to his word, so I ended up being true to mine. And I soon started making the best profits I've seen since taking up the trade. And all without aiding or abetting any outlaws. Except Sid himself, that is. He told me about his plan to topple the mother crystals, you know. He said that with them gone, the realm would want for all manner of things. An opportunity for the likes of me to mint gill. Why, I reckon an enterprising individual could find herself the richest damn in the twins. And that's when he had me. 
I emptied my stores that day and moved into the yard away proper. And the rest, as they say, is ancient bloody history. A dozen years on, and I'm still not the richest damn. <laughs> not for lack of trying, mind. But I can say, that I have never been happier. Karen! Also <laughs> me, there are some things more precious than Gil. That there are. So don't you go messing it all up. This is very unexpected from Karen. To. This game, while it is like extremely um, adult, is also so wholesome. It, it does both so well. And Goots is out here. Ask about Karen. There's no one like our nan. Wait, are you gonna say the rest? Oh, you don't. I'm so used to everything being voiced. <laughs> My mom and dad worked me like a dog and still called me a witless, worthless waste of space. Said it so much I started believing them. But then Nan got wind of how they were treating me. She didn't like it one bit. They did the persona thing where they say the first couple, like the, well, like the first line, and that's it. Pulled out a big fat purse full of gold and threw it at their feet. Your lad's worth double that. She said, <laughs> this is actually kind of funny. And if you lot can't see it, you hand him over to someone who can. <sighs> All that shining, glittering gill, and Nan said I was worth more. Never been so happy in my life. And I've never looked back. I started working for Nan right then and there. I'll gladly stay with her till my dying day. Ask about the skies, why not? His noises are so good. I reckon these skies are enough to give anyone the collie wobbles. I'm not gonna sit around hanging my head and twiddling my thumbs. Did enough of that back in Twinside while you were busy fighting that horrible dra dragon. And then that even horribler one. But no more. But no more. From now on, I'm going to do what you lot do and properly pull my finger out no matter how much my knees are knocking. <laughs> I can't have Nan and Blackthorn thinking I'm a great big wet blanket now, can I? Don't you worry about me. You just stick to what you do best. Saving the world. Aww. Be careful out there. One of my top characters, Goots has become. 